friends, welcome back. I got a Reese's peanut butter cup milkshake, a regular cheeseburger, their grilled cheese. I didn't realize that Five Guys had grilled cheese and their Cajun fries. Let's take a sip of the milkshake. That is thick. Mmm. Five Guys has such good milkshakes. I'm gonna wanna dip my fries in it. I'm gonna try the grilled cheese before I eat the burger because I've never had the grilled cheese. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's a good grilled cheese. Oh my God. And with the milkshake, <laughs> the combination is honestly a vibe. Mm. So I asked you guys on Instagram what your unpopular opinions are and I'm going to react to them. There were some unpopular opinions, let me tell you. Five Guys burgers are top tier. Mmm, that's so good. I got mayo, ketchup, grilled onions, tomato, and lettuce. So good. Okay, our first unpopular opinion is that cheese stick apparently tastes really good with a peanut butter and jelly. It's a little hard to get behind that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like... Though I will say, I'm about to dip these Cajun fries in this peanut butter cup milkshake, so we'll see if that even tastes good. I should not be one to talk when it comes to weird food combinations. Oh my God. I don't even think that fries and milkshakes is an unpopular opinion anymore. <laughs> because people are starting to realize how good it is. Oh my God. Even with a peanut butter milkshake. Yeah, so honestly, maybe you're right. Maybe cheese sticks do taste really good with peanut butter and jellies. I know people eat like Nutella sandwiches with cheese. I'm very interested to try that combination. This is a messy burger. Okay, the next one is controversial. Trader Joe's is better than Costco. I've never even been to Costco and I know that's not true. First of all, Costco has so many items. Like it's a super store and Trader Joe's is kind of small. At least the ones by me are. And also, isn't the point of Costco like to get things in bulk sizes? You can't get that at Trader Joe's. And this is coming from somebody that loves Trader Joe's and has never been to Costco. <laughs> this grilled cheese is so good. Like, that is a respectable amount of cheese. Okay, somebody said marinara sauce ruins the true experience of a mozzarella stick. I completely disagree. It's almost to the point where I can't have a mozzarella stick if there's no marinara sauce. You know? I mean, that's not true. I could still eat it, but it makes it so much better. Just like how this milkshake makes these fries even better. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter french fries. Wow. 
That's so good. Ah, oh, so cheesy. I was like racing home with my bag. <laughs> the Five Guys is in walking distance to me, so I was like literally sprinting. I could not wait to eat this. It smelled so good. There was another unpopular opinion that said being the family black sheep is actually ideal. I agree because I'm the family black sheep. My sisters are both married with kids and they have, they love their lives. Like they're chilling, but. <laughs> I am not like them. They're also very serious individuals. Love them to death, but I take absolutely nothing seriously. Like sometimes I think they get a little annoyed at that, but no, we're so different. But I think that it's ideal to be different and unique. Cause I think that my sisters, like, I feel like they need me in their lives. Like I add a little bit of spice to their lives, you know, like what's Gabby doing? Crazy Gabby. So it's good that we keep that narrative because it's fun not to have your shit together. At least for me, like their shit is almost like two together. You know, they're such good moms. Like, all this stuff. I can't even keep a plant alive, but you know, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> I agree. I think it's ideal as the black sheep in my family. And low key, we're the funniest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like the Game of Thrones theme song. Yeah, the reason why you guys have never seen my sisters they hate being on camera oh my god it's like honestly annoying me i whenever i'm with them i'm like can we like take photos i don't have any recent photos of the three of us together and <laughs> every time i'm like let's take a photo they're like oh let me do my makeup let me do my hair and i'm like you guys it's just a photo for the memories which it's fun like i like having sisters that are so different from me you know that's why i think it is ideal to be the black sheep because I don't know, when different personalities mesh, it's fun. You know, opposites attract. Pickles with ice cream. Babe, I don't, should we try it right now? I think there's a pickle in here. Wait, there is, ew, okay, that's kind of gross. So there's like mayonnaise and ketchup on that. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a sip of the milkshake and then I'm gonna eat the pickle. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> It's weird though. I'm intrigued by it. Like I would, I would eat more of that. <laughs> you got a point, okay. I think I'm gonna do a video trying your like weird food combinations because that was kind of good. Mmm. I still have to try that peanut butter burger from Sonic. This one was so interesting. I feel like soon video or electronic evidence wouldn't be as strong in court because of AI. There were some like concerns about AI on there because I think everybody loves AI, but a lot of people said that they're like scared of AI, which kind of same. I didn't even think about that, like stuff not being admissible in court because people can like modify it with AI. Um because it was a huge thing when like video evidence in court was used. And now technology has advanced so much to the point where people will be able to modify that video because of AI. I'm like, that's scary. I mean, they just need to be more careful with it, I guess. Like. I don't really know how to do that, but <laughs> that's my suggestion. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest like Five Guys French fry person. Dipped in the milkshake, it tastes really good, but their fries are, they've always been more on the soggy side. 
which that's an unpopular opinion if you prefer soggy fries. Does anybody on here prefer soggy fries? There was another one that I read saying soggy cereal is superior. Mm. Do I think it's necessary? Yes, because some part of me loves when the cereal does get soggy, but I like when it mixes in with the crunchy cereal too. Like, maybe like cereal a little soggy is superior because I like when it still has that little bit of crunch. You know what I mean? Like Captain Crunch when it gets a little soggy, but it still has that crunch. And then it doesn't hurt the roof of your mouth, so. I kind of like that better. Somebody said bloating is not a real thing. It's all in your head. I don't know about that. <laughs> you should see my bloated tummy. Mm -mm. That is not in my head. It literally, it feels like I'm pregnant. Isn't it definitely like correlated to your body? Like, I don't really know what it has to do with the body, but when you're bloated, doesn't that, isn't that like water retention? How could that be all in your head, huh? <laughs> huh? I mean, I don't know. It feels like it's an actual physical thing and that it's not all mental. I hope it's mental, honestly. Every time I get bloated, I'm like, what am I allergic to? <laughs> I kind of want to dip, <coughs> oh my. I kind of want to dip the grilled cheese in the milkshake. I mean, this is an unpopular opinions video. We should do unpopular things. Yeah, that's bomb. That's pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, I liked that. Mm-hmm. Somebody else said that money can buy happiness to an extent. I agree with that. Like, I feel like everybody's like, money doesn't buy happiness, but it kind of does, babe. Having money makes me a happier person. You know, if I had no money, I couldn't be in, I couldn't do this right now. I couldn't sit in my apartment. Like, I'm very grateful to have money and it allows me to do what i like to do which allows me to travel to go see family like to eat good food so it definitely is a factor in happiness now is it the reason for my happiness no the reason for my i honestly don't know what the reason for my happiness is or how i'm this happy i've always been like this but yeah i don't know i do think that money can kind of buy happiness sorry <laughs> Call me crazy. I just like being a lavish bitch. Like, <laughs> I don't care. Like, I think it's fun to buy things. Be consumerism. I mean, my whole platform is kind of like based off of me buying food so I can eat it, you know? But... Luckily, I've always been a happy person. Um, yeah. Maybe ask somebody else that question and see what they say. Somebody said raisins are delightful. I agree. I love raisins. One of my favorite cereals in the entire world is Raisin Bran. I love love raisin brands raisin brands i used to eat those like little things of sun-made raisins all the time at school <laughs> i would just like cheese and bread all right i'm kind of full y'all this was so much fun though let me know if you want me to do more of these kinds of videos. I find them so much fun and it's fun to just hear your own popular opinions. Love you guys. Bye. And try a grilled cheese in your milkshake.